Brussels Black Angels, uh, first and ten near uh, near midfield. And number 27, Jimmy Onema, with the run, but got snuffed out immediately by that shotgun's defense. Brussels Black Angels uh, with the second down. Once again, Jimmy will name out. And once again, uh, and once again, that shotgun's defense is right on top of him. That's going to be a third and long. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it seems that we're uh, live here in bidding. The technical issue got solved. Uh, the score is 7-0 uh, in a couple of uh, seconds or in a couple of moments. You will, uh, you will see that on screen. Let us know at home if you're watching. If you have any connection problems, these problems will probably be at home because here everything, is, uh, everything looks good. Kickoff return of the Limburg shotguns got ran back immediately. 6-0, uh, then Masprovost with the extra points, 7-0. So the home team is leading by seven. And um, Brussels Black Angels uh, with a fourth down now had an excellent return as well. Uh, got punched uh, out of bounds uh, near midfield. I have a fourth down coming up right now. That's the first punt of the game. Looks to be a pretty... Solid punt. Shotguns uh, will uh, be starting deep into their own territory. Uh, Steph Grendel is asking for a <laughs> for a replay of the touchdown during halftime. We'll uh, we'll try and uh, we'll try and make that possible. No promises, but it was <laughs> it was a beautiful run by uh, Justin Julien straight down the middle. At nothing but daylight, he was gone. So uh, it was a pretty spectacular way to open the game. It's too bad you guys didn't see it. Our apologies. And uh, today's stream is also being sponsored by uh, Forel. If you uh, need anything that's... Uh, if you need any uh, American sports gear, Forel is your, uh, is your way to go. So there you have it. Seven for the Limburg Shotguns, zero for the Brussels Black Angels. This uh, rivalry just got <laughs> a little bit more interesting by that, uh, because of that, uh, that kickoff return. Safety42 is also watching. Let us know where you're watching. Give us a little... Uh, let us know who you're rooting for. What do you think the score will be? If you have any people uh, or uh, family, friends on the field, you can give them a shout out in the comments. So, uh, shotguns. First down, and that's Jim Brown himself. <laughs> that it, that's, that's John Brown, excuse me, it's John Brown himself, quarterback uh, of the Olympic Shotguns that seem to be going for it. Jim Brown is that um, famous uh, running back from the Cleveland Browns. Brown maybe has some uh, talents like Jim Brown, but we still have yet to see that. He is a quarterback, not a running back. But he can run the ball as well. It's a second down for the home team. Still deep into their own territory. Brown looks to be passing. That was uh, Vincenzo Klaas. Dropped the ball. It was a little bit high, maybe. Third down coming up. Still parked with their behinds against their own end zone. That uh, kickoff return probably woke the Brussels Black Angels up.
and quarterback Brown surrounding himself with a couple of uh, with probably a running back and a halfback or a fullback. Oh, that looks to be a delay of game. So that's a five yards penalty. Shotgun's going in the wrong direction. It's a third and looks to be a 15, 14. A long way to go. Third one team, there's a motion. Brown looks to be passing, but he's going to get tackled. That looked to be a safety, but Brown made it out of the end zone. Shotguns uh, will be punting uh, <laughs> from their own end zone. And if you're a Dolphins fan, you have some bad memories <laughs> of uh, players punting in the end zone. Looks Moss Provost has to stay in bounds. Has to stay in bounds. Has to make sure he doesn't hit one of his players. And Dennis Golf, that name rings a bell. Thanks for. Uh, Getting into the comments, a must provost with him. With a serious punt. That uh, ball will be run back. Uh, looks to be number 15. It gets swallowed up. That's Terrence Stillwell, a wide receiver. Picked up about uh, 15 yards. Not a bad return, but that, uh, that punt from Provost was, uh, was pretty good. Seeing as the circumstances were uh, pretty challenging. Had to make it into a goalkeeper uh, soccer style kick. Steph Grendel is uh, asking if there are a lot of spectators here invading him. Well, let's see if I lift my behind up. Not well. People are uh, are still arriving. I can see uh, maybe a, maybe a hundred. But uh, as tradition wants it, people. Uh, arrive here all the time to a densely populated area here in Beiringa. Sun is out, maybe people are having drinks. You can have drinks here as well in Beiringa. Black Angels uh, on the attack, second down, second and uh, eight. And again, uh, Olnema with the run. And there's a flag. And Nogile, number 17, as a quarterback. The handoff to Onema. Still awaiting the, uh, the penalty. Safety 42 is watching from Le Menuir. Is that somewhere in Wallonia or in France? Just let us know. And Jasmine Johnson watching from Arizona. Let's go shotguns, QB number 15. Welcome in, welcome in the stream. Jasmine, thanks for watching. Be sure to stick around. If you have questions, if you want to say something, just put them in the comments. I'll be here all night with you. And a second down for the Black Angels quarterback. Going for it, passing deep. That's a dangerous ball. Almost picked off. The ball had a little wobble to it. Almost got picked up. That was a very dangerous pass by Erno Guilain. Had to scramble. He was being chased by one of the defenders. Almost got tackled. It was a little bit of a YOLO pass by Erno Guilain. Coverage uh, of the corner was what well, was was pretty good. Gila again with the fake handoff, looking for a receiver. Once again, pass and it's caught. That's a really good pass by uh, Arno Gilan to Thomas Bouron. Got tackled immediately, but uh, pass reception and the first down. New set of downs for the uh, Brussels Black Angels. And Diego Perez is watching from Spain, rooting for the Brussels Black Angels. Welcome in the stream, Diego. 
Your team is uh, about to knock on the door of the end zone. Let's see what they'll do with the new batch of downs, giving it to Onema. Who else? And getting gang tackled. Onema got tackled <laughs> from all directions there. I hope the players are drinking a lot of water because it's it's not hot, but it's really it's, it's kind of warm today here. First first day of spring here. Actual spring, 24 degrees. It was still raining and cold beginning of this week. Now you have beautiful football weather here in uh, in Beringen. Second down and uh, 11 for the Black Angels. Again, a handoff to Olnema looking for an opening. Yeah. Olnema is one uh, one nimble guy. He's not the tallest, so he can find a crease everywhere. And Jules is watching. Uh, Ten is on fire. Big Brother doing his thing. Jules, once again, congratulations uh, with your uh, with your signing. We all saw it this week on the on Instagram of the NFL Academy. Lots of luck there in Canada. We'll be watching you. Uh, he's watching from Lowboro. <laughs> Still there. And Gila with the pass. And that will be close. That will be really close. That was Damien Petit with the reception. And it's a touchdown for the Brussels Black Angels. Short pass from uh, Gila. And just like that, Brussels Black Angels. All right, back. And it's Damien Petit with the extra point attempt. This is a pitch where soccer is being played, so that shouldn't be a problem. There we go, that ball is out of the stadium. <laughs> I think they've already lost two balls here in, uh, in baiting him. Two touchdowns and two uh, extra points that went over the fence. Seven, seven is the score now. After uh, shotguns with the uh, kickoff return, Brussels Black Angels came uh, fighting back. 7-7. Seven, seven. This game is all tied up. Looks to be a very interesting one. Very well balanced. Uh, it's, it's still the, force, uh, the first quarter, but this game uh, looks uh, really balanced. Two, uh, two teams that uh, can make things interesting. And... Uh, Brussels Black Angels getting ready for the kickoff. Shotguns uh, positioning two runners. That's uh, number 13, uh, Daniel Diaz. And can't seem to make up, make out the, uh, the number of uh, the second one. But the uh, <laughs> ball fell over. So I uh, have, to, have to wait a couple of moments. Yeah, a couple of people here in the stream. Got some doubts with the validity of that touchdown. That's a really nice kick. That ball will be uh, going out of the end zone. It will be a touchback for the Limiter Shotguns. And the uh, second uh, second runner was uh, Hakeem Williams. How can I forget that? Last time I hosted the, one of the streams, family of Hakeem was uh, watching. I think it was from uh, California. So Daniel Diaz and Hakeem Williams were ready for the uh, for running the ball back, but uh, that ball sailed through the end zone. So now it's a touchback. The Limiter Shotguns first down, home team. Denisha Macias is watching from England. Come on, Shotguns! Thanks for uh, watching, Denisha. Mums is uh, rooting for Marwan, number forty-four. <laughs> Damian got a cannon. Mish from the Kerikov. Yeah, he's got a pretty good arm. Brown looking to pass, Vincenzo Kleiss, the reception, but uh, let's see if he picked up maybe one or two yards. Klaas had to, had to move back. That ball was a little bit underthrown, maybe. Klaus now uh, leaving the pitch, second down for the home team. Mamadi, go number seven, 
What number seven, Mama D? On, uh, on what team? Let us know. Second down for the home team. Brown looking to pass. That is a beautiful pass. And is that flag and a that flag got thrown from the 40 yard line and landed <laughs> landed at the 20. That was an excellent throw by one of the officials. But it was a <laughs> it was a flag, not a ball. So wait the decision. That's a hold on uh, the Brussels Black Angels. The referee is not mic'd up. I'll try and uh, help you as much as possible. There we go. Shotguns uh, getting, uh, receiving a gift from the uh, defense of the Brussels Black Angels after that hold penalty. It's a new batch of downs. Ah, oh, Mama D, Keem Williams, number seven, of course. Alina Cisse, let's go shotgun number 12. Twelfth man. It's a handoff, one of the first handoffs of the game. That was to uh, number 17, to Omar Wong. Got snuffed out by the defense. Brussels Black Angels. Second down for the home team. <laughs> and Jules Boudon, <laughs> don't worry, you'll see me <laughs> again in black and green before I leave for Canada. Go Angels. It's nice to hear Jules. Brown looking to pass. And that was overthrown. Uh, that was... The direction of number 13, Daniel Diaz, was a little bit too high. Third down uh, for the shotguns. Brown getting the play. And returning to the huddle. And that, as I said in the intro, of this stream, I think when you guys weren't there, still <laughs> some of the results of these teams were uh, kind of surprising. For example, the shotguns losing their opener to the Rotterdam Trojans. And that was a dropped ball by uh, Amar Wong. That was right on the numbers uh, from John Brown. Should have been a catch and he had a lot of green in front of him. Too bad, too bad for, uh, for Amar Wong. Special teams. Uh, Entering the pitch. Mas Provost getting ready for uh, what's uh, no doubt to be one hell of a punt. He's, a Dutch, uh, he's of Dutch nationality, but playing for a Belgian team. People who can kick a ball are, uh, are not rare in Belgium or in, uh, in the Netherlands. <laughs> there we go. That is, it's a good punt, but... I think the wind is playing a part here, but the, that ball got stuck. And that's not a bad return. There's the whistle. This play uh, will end at about the 45-yard uh, line. That was number 15, uh, Terrence Stilwell. With a great, with, with a good return. And we're getting some... Uh, News here, Trojans 0, Nitros 7 or 6. Thanks, uh, Ilko Apple. Thanks uh, with, uh, for providing us with that news. Appreciate it if you would continue doing that. <laughs> I've got my hands full here. Normally, there's, uh, there's two people of American Football Community Belgium uh, hosting this stream, but like last week, <laughs> that's not the case. But... Uh, We'll, help, our, we'll, we'll uh, help ourselves here. No problem. We'll stick with you until the end of the game. There's a flag. The handoff uh, to uh, number nine, Sebastian Croix. Picked up maybe, maybe about a yard. Or back to the original line of scrimmage. And Ilhan Tosman rooting for the Angels here. I hope you uh, didn't miss 
Then missed that uh, that touchdown because the uh, Angels were trailing uh, after the <laughs> after the kickoff because uh, one of the shotguns ran that ball back. 7-0. Black Angels came up, came back, came crawling back. 7-7 seven, seven is the score. Now we're still in the first uh, first quarter here in uh, the beautiful Man Stadion here in Beringen. Sun is out, drinks are out. First down. Brussels Black Angels. Once again, going for the run. That seems to be enough. It's uh, right in front of my nose. Looks to be enough for a new set of downs here. Brussels Black Angels leaning a little bit more towards the run here. But as we've all seen, Arno Gila has a cannon of an arm. So they can uh, count on that as well. On the Brutan, is this a battle for the playoff spot? Not really, because uh, competition is not, uh, this thing is not even halfway yet. But uh, these two teams will probably be battling for a playoff spot. It's not the case right now, but they probably will be. And Olivia Lima. Is rooting for number 16 of the shotguns. That's Donovan Lima, watching all the way from California. It's good to see that the, you've brought the Cali sun out here. Because uh, 24 degrees uh, Celsius to here today it was a great day. Still is. Uh, Brussels Black Angels again going for the run down the middle, but uh, defense snuffed that out pretty quickly. Third down. Uh, for the Angels. That's uh, an important third down here at midfield. And that was a fake handoff. That was a fake handoff, <laughs> but there's a flag. There's multiple flags. I don't know, Gila with the fake pass seemed to be incomplete, but there's a couple of uh, flags on the field. I'm counting two. Back judge uh, already stuffing that flag back into his pocket. Probably saw the same thing that the line judge did. That's a hold on the shotguns. Yeah, there's two penalties, but they offset each other probably. And that's the end of the first quarter here. Score is 7-7. Uh, seven, seven. That ball will not be <laughs> going far because uh, it landed at about midfield. So this... Uh, this rivalry game is all tied up at seven. About to start the second quarter here in uh, in Beringen, in the Man Stadion. Shotguns opened up with a kickoff return, and uh, Brussels Black Angels came fighting back, scored a touchdown, extra point. Both extra points <laughs> sailed out of the stadium, so. Uh, I hope they can recover those balls because they're not cheap. Good ball, a good football is not cheap. And if you want a football, you know, you can always go to uh, Forel, one of our sponsors of this stream, Forel. Be sure to check it out. Need a helmet, need pads, need a football, need a jock strap, you can go to Forel. Trojans Nitros is tied up at six. Thanks, uh, Ilko Appel, for that, uh, for the news. Start of the start of the second quarter here. In the game between uh, Limburg Shotguns and Brussels Black Angels. A uh, third down will open up uh, the second quarter. Angels on the offense. 
Ariel Aguila getting ready for the snap. And there is the flag. <laughs> the Angels immediately going backwards. They knew what they were doing wrong. <laughs> immediately, the entire line moved back. If you know what you've done wrong, there's no discussion. Shotguns. Defense. Still setting. With some uh, confusion. Guilain getting ready for the pass. That's a deep ball to number 11. That's an act. Mati Aguila with an excellent catch here. The completion percentage of uh, Arno Guilain yeah, is pretty good. But that catch from uh, Mati Aguila was excellent. That was a back shoulder throw. It was basically covered by two players. Double coverage, still made that catch. And just like that, Brussels Black, Black Angels are knocking on the, on the door again. Getting ready, getting ready to enter the red zone here. And that's a handoff again, the run. Sniffing it out, going for the end zone. Number nine, Sebastien Croix, almost running it back. Black Angels, a couple of weapons on the, on the running game. Onema and Sebastien Croix showing off their skills. And if it's not Croix, uh, Croix or uh, Onema, then it's <laughs> Arno Guilain, the quarterback himself. Angels have now entered the, end, uh, the red zone. Short pass, incomplete, but there's a flag. There is a flag. This could be interesting. I see no discussion on the field, so that must have been a clear, clear foul. Let's see what the white cap has to say. It's pass interference on the defense. They will probably be uh, so close to the goal line, half the distance. First down for the uh, Black Angels. Really compact line. Defense was ready for that. It was number 10, Thomas Boulon. Almost looked to be a quarterback sneak, but uh, Shotguns D was wide awake. Mama D still rooting for the Shotguns to hope they get that, that W. And Bridget Dykus. There's some place for the Trojans. Yep, the Trojans, uh, the live stream of one of the Trojans games it's not today, but there is a quarterback. <laughs> That's a quarterback. Touchdown quarterback, Arno Gila. Mentioned uh, the running danger of the Brussels Black Angels by uh, Sebastian Croix and uh, Jimmy Onema. And if it's not one of those guys, <laughs> it's uh, Arno Gila himself. And just like that, he runs it for a touchdown. 13 to 7. Brussels Black Angels. And here is the uh, extra point attempt. Again. That ball again sails just straight out of the stadium. Extra point is good. 14 uh, to 7. Last week, uh, 
Shotguns were leading as well against the uh, reigning champions, the Amsterdam Crusaders. They were uh, leading 21 to 7 at halftime, but uh, still lost 35 to 30. It was a really close one. Too bad I, uh, I had to miss that one. It looked to be a, a classic. Shotguns uh, started this game. With the kickoff return, Angels came flying back with another return, uh, with a touchdown, 7-7. Seven, seven. And uh, now with the uh, touchdown by Arno Guilain, it's 14-7. And that looks to be Hakeem Williams with the, uh, with the return. Will be stopped at the 25. It looks to be uh, Williams and Diaz were... Uh, Talking to each other like, who's going to get that ball? And if you're not a returner, you're a blocker. Shotguns. Uh, home team starting at the 25-yard line. Brown. Short pass. Oh, he was down. Number 17, Amara Wong, I think. Yep, yeah, Amara Wong was down on his knees when he caught that ball. And I think he was behind the original line of scrimmage. Almost looked to be a backwards pass. Yeah, too bad. These are uh, college rules. If your limb is down, you're down. If your hand is down, or your uh, elbow, your knee, if it's down, play is dead. These are not NFL rules where you have to be touched. Second down. Brown looking to pass. And uh, let's see, that looked to be. <laughs> I think it's a quarterback to quarterback to Kobe, Kobe Olislagers, backup quarterback of the Limburg Shotguns. It's number nine. When they played in Isigem, there was a good connection uh, between. Uh, Brown and Oli Slagers, two quarterbacks just exchanging passes to <laughs> and, and, and touchdowns with each other. It was very interesting to see. Yeah, third down for the shotguns. Brown going for him, going for it. Has to, has to, <laughs> stiff arm. Number 20 of the uh, Brussels Black Angels, Flori Katam, Katambaku. Even giving him a hand. <laughs> Pointing towards the sky. Yep. John Brown, quarterback. He has wheels. He's not the tallest of quarterbacks, but he looks to be uh, pretty nimble. New first down, a pass to Klaas, and a completion. Picking up probably about five yards. Klaas with one of the first receptions of, uh, of his game. Guys, let us also know in the chat who you think is going to win the BNL this year. Is it going to be a three-peat for the Crusaders, or is someone else going to take the crown from the uh, team out of Amsterdam? Only Slagers is back on the field, so two quarterbacks again on the pitch. And uh, that run is not going anywhere. Let's see. Number 54. That's a uh, Christopher Lajoie, if the numbers are correct, that's an <laughs> offensive lineman. But that's, uh, that's probably not the case. O-line will never get the ball unless they have to jump on it. But I think yeah, he is lining up as a tight end, so that could be right. Brown looking to pass. Sideline. 
Number seven with the catch, Hakeem Williams. New set of downs for the home team. I think some people in California will be happy with this, uh, this reception. Got some people straight out of Cali watching us. New set of downs for the home team. Keem William lining up on the bottom of your screen. Straight down the middle of that pass. That was uh, towards number 13, Daniel Diaz. Got batted down. That was a laser of a pass by John Brown. Doesn't seem to be happy. Getting the play from Coach Lewis. Uh, Jules is asking what the score is. Uh, the Trojans Nitros. I think there's someone in our stream following that game. Last time I checked it was 6-6. And short run but a flag on the opposite side of the field. Eva Klotz is the uh, headlinesman. She threw that flag. Thirteen to six Trojans Nitros. That flag will be waved, so there's no foul on the play. Thanks, Ilko, again for uh, providing us with the score. There's still people pouring into the stadium here. I think at halftime. The stands will be, uh, I think, about 50% will be filled, filled up here. Sun is going down here and beating him. But there's still a lot of football to be played. Nate Papp rooting for the shotguns in the stream. Welcome to the stream, Nate. It's an important third down here. Brown with a long ball towards the sideline, and that will... There is no flag. Thrown. <laughs> Hakeem Williams was begging for a flag. He seemed to be. There was a little bit of contact there, but uh, not enough contact for a flag. So uh, fourth down, shotguns will be going for it. So it seems because uh, offense is still on the field. There's still ten yards to be gained for a new first down and they'll they'll go for it this should be interesting number 17 Amar Wong there's Brown with the pass and that's overthrown but there's a flag there's a flag near the uh, line of scrimmage if that one goes the uh, way of the shotguns get a new first down but let's wait here one of the officials is still talking to the shotguns that's usually not a good sign if you're if you're talking with one of the officials well that's uh mm. look to be a chop block personal foul against the shotguns but the bba is declining that penalty so a turnover on downs here. I think it's one of the first turnovers here. Haven't seen a fumble yet or a, or a pick. First turnover of the game, and it's one on downs. The Cats from, Brussel, from Brussels are uh, again lining up for offense. Daniel Koren watching from Krefeld in uh, Germany. Welcome into the stream. And... Uh, Looks to be Onema with the short run. Picking up maybe a yard. Bridget Dykus rooting for the Trojans, of course, but the game of the Trojans is not being broadcasted today. Every week there's one game of the week that's being broadcast, and this week it's uh, this, this game that you're watching here. Beating in here. Limber shotguns against the uh, visiting Brussels Black Angels. If you go to bnl.football, you can see when uh, the other game of the week is being broadcasted. And that was uh, 
pass by uh, Arno Gila. Incomplete. Threw it out of bounds. And uh, these downs are fading fast here for the Brussels team. Third down. Still have that 14 to 7 lead. Trojans are up by 20 against the um, Nitros. Third down. Gila with a fake pump. And. <laughs> Excellent pass to uh, Mati Aguila. It was a hook route by Gila. Stopped, turned, caught the ball, and then went out of bounds. But not enough for that first down. And uh, one turnover on downs is being, <laughs> being followed by another turnover on downs. Not yet, no, no. Still fourth down here, my mistake. And it's gonna be a punt. No, delay a game penalty against the Brussels Black Angels. Setting them back five yards. Single returner for the shotguns. And that is that is not a good punt. That is not a good punt. That ball sailed out of bounds at the 45 yard line. Punter didn't seem to quite nail that one. He knows he knows that that wasn't good. It's number uh Number 19, Adrian Godichal. Giving the, the shotguns some good field position here for them to, uh, to gnaw at that uh, seven point differential. Visiting team still leading by seven. There's a motion here. Hakeem Williams with the ball, getting the ball. Looking for some daylight here. Oh, I'm looking for some of <laughs> that contact. It's tackled inbounds. Keen Williams with a short gain, about five yards here. Juanita Parker is watching from Atlanta, Georgia, rooting for Hakeem. Keen Williams was just, was just on the ball, got tackled just inbounds. Gained about five yards, so second and five for the home team. And a run down the middle. If I'm not mistaken, that was Amar Wong, number 17. Maybe, maybe two yards. Third down uh, for the green and goal here. <laughs> Nate Paps, <laughs> that was a great punt for the shotguns. Good one, Nate. <laughs> Good one. Yeah, it's a timeout asked. It looked to be. Whitecap was signaling timeout, but that's not the case. We'll play football here. Another important third down for the shotguns here after the uh, kickoff return. Didn't quite get to the end zone anymore. And Amar Wong just rolling and tumbling. That play seemed to be that after a yard, but he caught fire. New set of downs for the home team. It's good mentality by him, not giving up. 
got the ball from uh, from Brown, did a little jump, and looked to be that play looked to be dead, but uh, didn't give up. That's football for you. It's a game of inches, as they say. Dropping back, Brown looking to pass. That's uh, overthrown. Was well, in the direction of uh, number thirteen, Daniel Diaz. Brown still has to set his sights. Completion percentage here, not that great. But uh, they can count on a solid run game here. But if your quarterback is, uh, is it, if his passing numbers are good, it's always better, of course. And the safety 42 is, uh, that was the two minute warning uh, signal. Thanks for clearing that up. Second and about 10 yards. Brown again looking to pass. Getting a block. And what's he doing? He's going out of bounds. That, so that was a smart move by him. He could have could have looked for that contact because there was a defender. That was a defender uh, coming up on him. Picking up about uh, 80 yards here. Avoiding the first tackle, but then uh, cleverly getting out of bounds. And Dankun saying, NFL can learn from this. <laughs> Those are big words, Dankun. <laughs> Those are big words. We're all missing the NFL right now, but it's being filled up by, uh, by this BNL. Short run. Looks to be enough. I think we've all heard that he... Uh, the new kickoff rule in the NFL is being uh, is being applied. The kickoff rule that we know from the UF or, or the XFL. What do you guys think about that? Looks to be very interesting. I'm not going to talk about the, <laughs> the hip drop tackle here, but the kickoff rule is one of the most interesting changes, uh, rule changes um, of the past years to me. Because uh, nobody likes to see touchbacks, and the uh, the amount of returns uh, will uh, will probably soar because they have to return the ball if it's not being kicked out of uh, out of uh, bounds or out of the end zone, of course. But uh, NFL and rule changes, there will <laughs> there's always a lot of fuss about it, especially this year. But the kickoff rule, yeah, it seems to be interesting. And the uh, hometown cheerleaders, hometown cheerleaders, also dressed in that green and gold here. <laughs> and Nate doesn't doesn't seem consistent with their argument to player safety, but would agree it would be nice to see more returns. We're, we're all counting down the weeks to <laughs> eat to even preseason. You can watch the UFL if you want, but nothing beats the NFL. And Brown again, dropping back deep ball towards the end zone. Number 13 was really close. Daniel Diaz was really close. Diaz not looking that, that happy. Signaling towards the end zone. Oh, uh, was signaling towards the sideline. It was a solid pass by Brown, but was overthrown. Second down for the home team. Trips on the left here. Three receivers. Single receiver on the other side. Motion by Amar Wong. Brown again, probably going for the pass to the end zone. He's wide open. Kobe Oli Slackers once again, quarterback to quarterback pass. Touchdown, Limburg shotguns. John Brown to Kobe Oli Slackers. Quarterback to quarterback. I never get tired of saying that. It's a great way to keep your 
backup quarterback, fresh. And, uh, oh, there's a flag. Shotguns were lining up for the extra point. There was a flag thrown. That flag is being pocketed as we speak. <laughs> Some player change. Nope. That would probably be a false start because that ball is moving five yards in the opposite direction of <laughs> where it would go or where it should go. A little bit more of a distance for uh, Mas Provost to kick that ball. And I hope there's someone outside of the stadium to catch that one. He's got one hell of a lag. Let's see what they do here. There's a little bit of a fun that ball is out. <laughs> and there, there are a lot of cars parked on the other side of that fence. <laughs> it's the second time he booted one out of the stadium. And uh, probably the second time that the car will be dented on the parking lot. So, all tied up here. 14 to 14. And I think we're near halftime here. Maybe we'll get one return. Maybe that will be uh, the end of the first half. But uh, there is still a kickoff, uh, kickoff coming up. So as expected, this proves to be a, an interesting game here. All tied up here at 14 each. Nobody likes a blowout. This is clean, hard football that's being played here. Mas Provost lining up. Probably booting, booting that one to the end zone as well. Oh, that's a low kick. That's a surprising kick. Not one of the expected returners. Yeah, and that return will uh, end up at the, uh, probably around the 41 yard line. Let's see who was at the bottom of that pile. I think it was number uh, 81. Jonathan Leroy. He's a wide receiver and a tight end. He's billed as one. So <laughs> suddenly got that ball in his hands. And returned it for about 10 yards. And for Julia, that's it. Shotguns. That was a that was a beautiful play. It's a great touchdown. <laughs> Safety 42 <laughs> noticing an illegal substitution. Yeah. And where's that ball going? That ball is going backwards for the Brussels Black Angels. We're nearing halftime here and bidding it. 14 each. People are uh, asking for uh, the score in Amsterdam. I have no clue if there's someone following that game. Be sure to provide us with that score. And that is once again Jimmy Onema with the run. Getting behind that, uh, passing that line, original line of scrimmage. After the uh, probably a false start, a delay a game, delay a game penalty. Second down for the Black Angels. Jimmy Onema once again with the run. He is churning those yards. And that is the end of the first half here in Beringen. 14 each between the Limburg Shotguns, the home team, and the uh, visiting Brussels Black Angels. Be sure to stick around. Stick around in the stream. Get a, get a drink. Go to the bathroom, but uh, don't go anywhere. We will be back after uh, 15 minutes. Don't go anywhere, and uh, we're glad you're with us. You're protective all day, just in case. Who knows what could happen? Hey, baby, what's going on? Nothing is more important than being safe. Protect yourself at all times. We've got you. 
go to Ferrella.com for all your American football gear.
you're protective all day, just in case. Who knows what could happen? Hey, baby, what's going on? Nothing is more important than being safe. Protect yourself at all times. We've got you. Go to Perella.com for all your American football gear. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome again in the beautiful Man Stadion uh, here in Beringen for the matchup between the uh, home team Limburg Shotguns and the Brussels Black Angels. And as expected, this game is an interesting one. The score is all tied up at uh, 14 each. Shotguns are getting ready to kick off. It's a beautiful day here. It was 24 degrees outside. Apparently, it was the warmest. 6th of April ever measured 24 degrees Celsius. It's still pretty, pretty warm outside. It's good. Stands are full. And there's football. That's a low surprising kick. And that's, that's touched. That ball is touched and will be returned. That is not a bad return by uh, number 10, Thomas Bouron. That was a, uh, a wobbly kick. Limber Shotguns must have studied the playbook of the Ghent Gators. Again, Gators who are playing in the BAFL this year, not in the BNL like last year. They always go for the onside kick. It's a certain tradition that they're following. If you're watching the stream, make sure to uh, make sure to, to stay interactive with us. If you've got questions, if you're rooting for someone on the field, let us know. We're here for you. And who else but uh, Jimmy Onema with the ball, with the run? But getting, getting, getting double tackled. And it was uh, number 30 that came flying in, Mitch Spill. It was already being tackled, then Mitch Spill came flying in. Double tackle. Well, they're not going nowhere. There's uh, <laughs> someone asking that there weren't commentators. I'm here. And Steph Krendel is asking if I've uh, if I drank some Kompel beer. Nah. Oh, and that is a pick! That ball was tip picked! And is that ball will be returned? If there are no flags on the play, Limber Shotguns will have that ball. That was a pass at them by quarterback. I don't know, Gile, that ball got tipped as the player got tackled. That was not uh, that was not a uh, that was not pass interference. Ball got tipped. Picked. And um, shotguns with a first down deep, very deep into Brussels Black Angels territory. That is worth, that's worth seeing again. You can always rewind the stream and go back live, but that play is one to see again. First down, already in the red zone, Brown with the pass and is that picked again? Is that ball picked again? No. Is that ball picked again? It looks to be. It looks to be. Brown with the interception. So, that's interesting. Shotguns getting, getting the interception, getting the first down. <laughs> Straight away, a pick by John Brown. So we're back to square one. Angels on offense. I don't know, Guilain will be in his own end zone. It will not make it easy for him. 
So that was <laughs> an interesting turn of events. And they're going for the run. They're going for the run. Picking up a couple. That's an interesting choice. Going for the run. Could have been dangerous. You're risking a safety there. But then again, an incomplete pass doesn't get you, get you nowhere. <laughs> Nate Papp is hoping <laughs> for a third interception. That ah, doesn't look to be that way. But, uh, one, two, three receivers lining up. Is that only Emma with the run? Nope. Oh, that ball is out! That ball is out again! What is happening here in Beningen? Three <laughs> turnovers. <laughs> I think I, I, I think I've seen three turnovers on four plays. Correct me if I'm wrong. And that player was not down. That was <laughs> what an in <laughs> incredible turn of events here <laughs> in beating it. Shotguns offense getting back on the field here. Well, Nate, there is your, <laughs> there is your. It's not an interception. It's a fumble. Okay, there's only one, one word for this. It's damn. Let's see what John Brown does here. He will go for it. He will go for it himself. He will go for it himself. Gets tackled. That was it. And loses his helmet in the process. Got tackled straight into the ribs. Hope he's okay. It looked to be a passing play, but does he have to leave the field now? Seems to be. Helmet came off. Maybe we'll see some Kobe Oli Slagas action here, or a uh, or a Wildcat. Yeah, I think Brown is leaving the field because his helmet came off. Has to stay off the pitch for one play. There's Oli Slagas coming on the field, who caught a <laughs> who caught a touchdown in the first half. A quarterback to quarterback pass. Yes, it's uh, Oli Slagas lining up as a quarterback. And it seems to be, let's see who's, oh. And Coach Lewis of the Shotguns is asking for a timeout. Yeah, Willem van Kompenol with the bro, what the f is going on? Yeah, <laughs> what was, it was, this is, this is why we're watching football. Every surprise is, is a good one. Not for the teams, but as a spectator, this is, uh, this is an interesting turn of events here. So, that's an interesting uh, start of the, the second half. Uh, Angels getting, a, getting an interception, or the shotguns getting an interception after a tip pass by uh, Arno Guillain. That play immediately got followed by a interception by John Brown. And that play got, got followed by a Brussels Black Angel uh, run and fumble by, I think it was Jimmy Onema, I'm not sure. And so now the shotguns are back, <laughs> back on offense. John Brown lost his helmet uh, during a tackle, so he had to leave the field, but he is back after a, uh, after a, uh, um, a timeout. So he's back on the field now. It's still 14-14, Alina, yes. You can, uh, you can see the score on the bottom of your screen. And Oli Slagers is back on the field. Oh! That pass was a little bit high by, uh, by Brown. I think it was in the direction of uh, it was either Vincenzo Claus or uh, Daniel Diaz. One, uh, one or two. It's a second down now. The uh, shotguns won't get any points here. They'll be uh, they'll be disappointed here. Oh, Alina, the stream is not so good. Maybe we had some difficulties, some technical difficulty difficulties in the beginning of the stream, but uh, that seems to be cleared up. Um, I suggest maybe checking the connection or maybe trying another <laughs> another uh, Wi-Fi signal 
And uh, get, getting back to the play here, Brown scrambling, looking for someone, going for it, passing, and that ball through the hands of Daniel Diaz, but <laughs> giving a shove at the end of the play, that, that ball was catchable. That ball was catchable. Fourth down, and I see Mas Provost coming on the field. So uh, shotguns will be lining up for a field goal. And Coach Mike is asking for the Trojan score. I think uh, the last time I saw someone uh, replying in the stream, it was uh, 30 to 6 or something. And Provost once again booting one out of the stadium. <laughs> That's the third ball that he's kicked out of the stadium today. So I hope the shotguns still have enough balls. And uh, that ball was good. So uh, shotguns leading. Taking the lead, 17 to 14. Betty Williams, Saints working great here in California. Go, Hakeem. Yeah, <laughs> Alina hopes they all get their, the <laughs> they'll get the balls back. I hope so, because every single attempt at extra point or a field goal, that ball has sailed out of the stadium. Fences <laughs> are not high enough, it seems. So, uh, Limburg Shotguns taking the lead. Three-point lead, 17 to 14. Provost again with a low kick. Let's see what the Black Angels do with that one. Yeah, not bad. And that play will be blown dead. It's number 10, Thomas Bourdon. No flags on the field. First of all, the Black Angels offense will start at, the, uh, at their own 30. So uh, if you enjoy watching this stream sponsored by Forel, be sure to subscribe to this channel so you'll get uh, all the news, all the streams immediately. Hit that subscribe button as they say, hit that bell. It'll only help the BNL competition grow even further. And uh, Onema with the run, he has some space, he has room. There was some confusion here on the limiter shotgun sideline. Player that was running off the pitch. Probably was uh, worried about getting an illegal substitution penalty. And in that chaos, Jimmy Onema picked up a lot of yards here. Shane Crew hasn't moved yet, but there was laundry on the field. Hmm. So uh, Black Angels declining the penalty. First down uh, for the Angels here. Guillain getting the snap, handing it off again to Jimmy Onema. Who else? And there's another flag comes flying in. And it's a hold against the, uh, the Angels. That'll set him back. It'll be a first and pretty much forever. It looks to be like a first and 20. Cheerleaders are rooting for their home team here. And uh, quarterback fake. Does that catch inbounds? Number 15, Terrence Stillwell. 
after a pass by Admiral Guillain. Once again, thank everybody who's watching the stream for being here, for enjoying some good football today here with us. It's a good matchup. Shotguns leading by three. It's a pretty balanced game here. Some good, clean, hard football. That's what the BNL is all about. And Guillain with a fake handoff. And again to Stillwell. With the, uh, with the catch and a first down. So after a couple of penalties, Brussels Black Angels moving in the right direction here. New batch of downs for the Blacks. Again, Onema, and again a flag, but Onema will be tackled. Not gain any yards, but there's a flag on the plate. Too many flags in the second half. Seems to be a loss of, some loss of focus. Mm. Seems to be against Black Angels. <laughs> and once again, trending into, into in the wrong direction here. Yeah, it's a pretty costly penalty here. So this is actually first and forever. <laughs> High snap, Guillain, deep ball. And there was contact. There was some contact, but there's no flag. Matija Gila had a defender all over him, but that was clean defending uh, according to the official. So next play for the Brussels Black Angels. Yeah, Thibaut Debailly, also in the in the stream. Welcome, Thibaut. <laughs> that was PI, according to him. Yeah, the defender was pretty much hugging him, but no flag. <laughs> Willem van Kompernola, how is that not a flag, bro? <laughs> and if the Black Angels continue like that, they will be snapping in their own end zone. The first down marker is at the uh, shotgun's 24-yard line. <laughs> and the Angels will be snapping the ball at their own, let's see, 36-yard line. It's quite the distance to cover, but then again, everything is possible in football. Yeah, with the snap dropping back. And that's a deep one to the sidelines. And once again, no flag. No flag for Matija Gila. He was being double covered. Brussels Black Angels not complaining. So they must have seen something, something else. Second down for the, uh, for the visiting team. Yep, Henri or Henri nine, not good PI, that's just good defense. And Jimmy Onema with the run. 
It's not. It's the. It's it's kind of like the uh, the hip drop tackle rule. Uh, PI is not a black or white rule. It's a, it's a judgment call. It's a judgment call by the officials. That makes it. That doesn't make it easy for them. Um, so uh, it's it's everyone has their own opinion. If it's flagrant, it's it's clear, it's obvious. But it's, if it's not that flagrant, you can yeah, th th you, you can discuss it. But uh, so uh, no flags. So that was just good defense according to the uh, to the officials. Uh, third down, pass to Onema, but that ball was short, and I think it was incomplete even. And if he caught that ball, even if he caught that ball, his knees were down, so he was down. And uh, special teams coming on the field. Probably see a punt here. Last time, the Brussels Black Angels punted. That ball didn't go, uh, I think, farther than uh, 15 yards or something. So let's hope for them. Punt will be better. Trojans, Nitros, 41 to 6. Looks to be a uh, running clock there in, uh, in Easy Game, I think. Let's get back. This is, uh, that's a good punt. That's a decent punt. And number 19 uh, of the shotguns with the return. That's Justin, Ju Ju Justin, <laughs> Justin Julien. If he's French, or <laughs> it's Justin. If he's English, it's Justin. Justin Julian, but I'll keep it at Justin Julian. He was the one who uh, ran that ball back uh, on the very first uh, kickoff of the game. Opened the game with a touchdown, but uh, not in this case. Shotguns back on offense. Brown with the handoff to number 17. That's Amara Wong. They're up. Bell Cow running back. Uh, Bora, Kian Bora. He's not here with us today, it seems. Otherwise, we, <laughs> we would have seen him on the pitch already. But uh, some solid running. By limiter shotguns today on both sides of the ball. <laughs> Steph could handle Juju. <laughs> that's, me. that's a good idea. <laughs> Brown dropping back, pumping, looking. And that's a reception uh, by number seven by Hakeem Williams, but there's a laundry on the field. There will probably be a hold on the defense. There we go. That's a hold on the defense. So uh, both teams trending in the wrong direction on offense in the second half. Uh, too many flags being thrown. Second down for the home team. Dropping back Brown, short pass. Oh, and that ball seems to be out, but was he down? That was a pass to Daniel Diaz, got smacked immediately. But that play was blown dead before that ball came out. Henri or Henri 9 is asking, is Edmund playing? On what team, uh, Henri? I'll call you Henri. <laughs> it's easier for me. Third and very long for the home team. There's a motion by Amar Wong. There's Brown going for it. Defenders trying to knock the ball loose. But getting him. Barely makes it past your, no, gets to the original line of scrimmage maybe. And uh, special teams coming on the pitch. Mas Provost getting ready for his punt. 
Edmund from the shotguns. I'll check if there's an Edmund player sheet while we wait for the uh, for the punt. Edmund Yeboah, yeah, number 28. He is on the field. That's a fumble. That's a <laughs> it's a muffed snap by Provost, but gets a decent punt out of it. Ends up at the 41-yard uh, line. So, uh, Hari, Edmund Yeboa, yes, he is active. He's wearing number 28, but uh, if you can spot him, 28. So, uh, Black Angels starting at their own 41-yard line after the, uh, for the punt by Mas Provost. Had some trouble with that snap. A little bit of butterfingers, but uh, got a clean one off. And Steph Grendel is telling us that crew is leading 33 to six. So that's again, two blowouts in the BNL. One by the Trojans, one by the crew. This game is a uh, Way more balanced here. Neither team is being dominant. 17 to 14. Pretty balanced score here. If you're interested in that. Uh, American football in Belgium and in Holland. Be sure to follow American Football Community Belgium. We have an Instagram, we have TikTok, we have Facebook, we have a podcast. And uh, every now and again, you'll hear or you'll, 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 hear, <laughs> you'll hear my voice or see my face. All things football in Holland and in Belgium. We'll try to keep you updated. And we're hosting the uh, the BNL live streams. Last week you heard my uh, colleague Laurens. He was in uh, Evre. And today I'm here. Usually there's two of us, but uh, some of us <laughs> some of us have families. They yeah, have other obligations. And uh, once again, a shout out to our sponsor Forel. And another shout out to uh, Be a Legend, Steven, behind the cameras, directing this uh, live stream, filming this live stream, cutting this live stream, he's doing everything <laughs> by himself. So, uh, shout out to Steven. <laughs> and, uh,. <laughs> Cheerleaders <laughs> are dancing <laughs> behind the huddle. That's a sight to see. <laughs> I wonder if, if the music is, is disrupting their co coach's talk. It's a, <laughs> it's a pretty weird sight. One of the cheerleaders is dancing behind the huddle. Yeah. They'd be like, this is our time now. This is our time to shine. Get out of the way, players. <laughs> yeah, they work for they work for it. They have dance practice all week. And this is their time to shine. Good for these girls. Big up the dent. You still have to see. The, the limited shotguns uh, mascot shoddy haven't seen him all season maybe he's still hibernating because he's a bear so shoddy the shotgun if you hear this we'd like to get you next to next to the pitch so uh, angels back on offense first down Gila with the short pass Completion, and he has a little bit of room here. He has wiggle room. <laughs> Stiff arm that defender. That was uh, number 12, Damien Petit. 
solid, solid catch, solid run. Then Stephen Williams, I think one of the cheerleaders must be Edmund. Yeah, they wear numbered jerseys. That's true. But they're not on the player sheet, so they're not active. <laughs> Limburg Shotguns also have a flag team or flag football team. Some girls are playing there. Football is for everyone. And a short run by Jimmy Onema. Seems to be the bell cow running back for the Brussels Black Angels. Mama D thanking everyone behind the scenes. Thank you for watching, Mama D. So second down for the All Blacks. Not to disrespect the New Zealand rugby team. Hand off to who else but uh, Jimmy Onema, but not getting anywhere. Speaking of rugby, I think we've all seen the signing of uh, Louis Rizamit, the Welsh rugby player, uh, got signed by the Kansas City Chiefs this week or last week. It's an interesting development. It's not the first rugby player who's, uh, who's played in the NFL. He's one of the few. If you guys uh, have an opinion on that, I'd like to hear it. Or what's the what, what's the more the more logical step to take to to go from rugby to football or from football to rugby? Seems to be a Brussels Black Angel player down. It's number seventy. So Matthew Aubrey, he's the center. He's a cornerstone of the offense. Communication between the center and the quarterback has to be immaculate. And if you lose uh, your starting center, you lose a big chunk of your offense. And uh, Aubrey getting back on his field, getting off the pitch, walking. Hope he's okay. Third down for the Angels. Dropping back, going for it, passing. That seems to be a catch. It was wide open. I don't know. Yeah, I had two players to choose from to throw that ball to. Completion. Uh, first down. Black Angels knocking on the door. They're only three points behind, so a touchdown would put them uh, put them over the shotguns just like that. Gillen. With the handoff to uh, Jimmy. But uh, Jimmy trending in the wrong direction and they're trying to punch out the ball. That was number 16, Donovan Lima trying. It was. <laughs> that was. You should rewind this. You should rewind this phase. Donovan Lima just frantically trying to punch out that ball. Yeah. <laughs> There, there, <laughs> there have been <laughs> some replay-worthy plays here <laughs> during this game. <laughs> this was one of them. Donovan Lima trying to knock that ball out. And uh, end of the third quarter here. Still a slim lead for the home team. Three points. And uh, one of the shotguns players seems to be down. That number... I think it's number 12. No, can't be because that's Vincenzo Klaas. Is that number, is number 10? No. Ah, it's number 70. Number 70 for the home team, but there's no 70. So, yeah. 
Well, he's up. He's back up. Doesn't matter anymore. And Reginald Seabreeze is saying rugby players transition to linebacker or ru running back would be a good fit. Yeah, Louis Rizamit, I think he's being trained primarily as a running back, but um, I, 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 saw him, um, I saw him in practice and that looked to be like wide receiver place. He's got the speed, he's got the height, he's got the strength. Uh, so it'll be very interesting. He's, he has a contract, but he still has to make the active roster during a, a training camp. So there is no guarantee, but he has a contract for three years. That's a lot for a player who hasn't played a, a single down of football in the NFL. Should be an interesting uh, development. So, uh, beginning of the fourth quarter. Angels on offense. Second down. Second and pretty much 20 yards. This looks to be passing plate. See where they're going with this. Dropping back. Passing number nine. Number nine, that is Sebastian Croix. Are there flags? Yes, there is a flag. Once again, I think this will be a hold. But shotgun players are walking backwards, so no. No, it's <laughs> pretty severe penalty. If I'm not mistaken, that's a chop block. That's uh, quite the distance they're losing. Black Angels looking to erase that uh, those those that deficit three points touchdown would put them over shotguns would give them the lead by three points but uh, not taking into account an extra point that handoff was snuffed out uh, immediately by the uh, shotguns defense. Second down for the Black Angels. Two receivers on the left, one on the right, and a tight end. And Guilherme, oh, got tackled from behind. Surprised that, and his helmet came off. See, he has to leave the field normally. Yes. So, uh, got tackled from behind. Surprised that Paul didn't get punched out. Third down. No quarterback on the field right now, or uh, at least not the QB1. And let's see what the Angels will do here. Looks to be number four. It's a Coster, Jim the Coster, one of the backups. Throwing to the end zone. And it's a caught, but there's a flag, two flags. This will be uh, pass interference, probably. There's only one, uh, one type of flag that can be thrown <laughs> right there. There was contact, but let's see if it's offensive or defensive. Could go either way, but my money is on, uh, is on DPI. But he caught that ball, I think. Mm. 
Yeah, but he caught that ball. Was he in bounds? He was not. I think. I think that's what the officials are discussing now. If he caught that ball, if it's a touchdown, they can just decline that penalty. But if there is an uh, offensive uh, penalty, there's two flags right there where uh, the ball got caught. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable if they flag for <laughs> OP, they trip in. <laughs> Let's see what they'll do. This is taking quite a while, so uh, they must have seen some different things. Yeah, from the bench, throwing that ball. Yeah, it was the first, uh, Jim DeCoster, that was his first uh, first pass of the game. And, and an immediate dime to the end zone because that ball was caught. But I think the receiver was slightly out of bounds. And slightly is enough to say he's out of bounds. Now they're talking about, damn, who knows what. <laughs> One of the uh, officials is waving his, <laughs> waving his arms. Like, I don't know. Yeah, football has a complicated set of rules. So uh, this had to be a complicated situation. Let's see. That was <laughs> defensive and offensive pass interference. These plays offset each other. They, these fouls offset each other. So there was offensive and defensive pass interference. No touchdown. And just like that, third down. Same <laughs> at the same spot. So uh, we'll have to see that one in replay. You can, you guys can al uh, always uh, scroll back and uh, to that phase and just get back to the live by pressing live. So if you want to see uh, that phase again, just scroll back and uh, you can go back to the to the live game by pressing the live button. And this is a handoff. Number 10, uh, Thomas Bouron. Almost got tackled out of bounds. That was a double fake by uh, Arnaud Guillain. Tigers, Wout, Wouter van Steen is telling us that the Tigers forfeiting at halftime. That's quite a surprise. Forfeit. And Angels are going for the field goal. On fourth down here. And that ball is... That's the doing, but that went through. Off the left, <laughs> upright. <laughs> Goalpost are still shaking. That was... That barely made it through, but that's more than enough. So the score is all tied up again at 17. Are we heading for a tie here? Could be because we are now into the fourth quarter. And nobody likes a tie, so uh, maybe we're going to see some OT. <laughs> Not the best kick, but good enough. Kick went through. BNL has its own doink, but this ball went through. Not to annoy uh, Chicago Bears fans here. Or <laughs> and uh, Black Angels kicking off. It's a high kick. 
Number 19 slipped, fell. Number 19, that's uh, Justin Julia again. Catching the ball deep in, the, in his own territory, but slipping. This pitch is uh, artificial turf. There's hockey being played here. There's soccer being played here. And just like today, American football. So there's always bound to be a sport that uh, has some uh, some drawbacks from uh, from uh, a turf like that. If you don't have uh, cl uh, cleats that are adapted to the underground, you get uh, situations like this. Too bad for uh, Justin Julien. And Wouter van der Steen is telling us that they had um, 20 players that started the game, the Tigers, and they had some injuries. So they're forfeiting. So maybe the best decision. Player safety above all. And there's a shotgun player down, and they're calling for the medical, uh, calling for medical attention. It's usually not a good sign. Let's see who that was. Can't quite make up the number. Both teams taking a knee. Let's see if is that Mar Wong? I think I could spot a seven. Maybe seven. So seven would be Akeem Williams. Seventeen is a Mar Wong. Seems to be in pain. Well, uh, doesn't look good, but uh, maybe we can uh, cut to a commercial for 30 seconds. We'll be right back with you with the uh, final minutes of the Brussels Black Angels playing the Olympic shotguns, 17 each. Well, uh, let's see. You're protective all day, just in case. Who knows what could happen? Hey, baby, what's going on? Nothing is more important than being safe. Protect yourself at all times. We've got you. Go to Perella.com for all your American football gear. So, uh, appeared to be Amara Wong. Got carried off the field. Hope the injury is not too severe. Shotguns back on offense. Second down. Brown dropping back for a pass. And that's a toe. That's a catch by Akeem Williams. Some toe drag swag by the, by the man from California. Toe drag swag. And on this artificial turf, you can really see the pellets going up. It's an excellent catch by Williams. New set of downs for the home team. It's all tied up here. 17 Brown dropping back. Has to run for it. It's gonna get tackled. Nope. Runs out of bounds. Picks up uh, about five, six yards. <laughs> Dan Kuhn, <laughs> haven't following, f following football for long. This is the most boring <laughs> I've been viewing. I beg to differ, Dan Kuhn. This is not a bad game. It's not all touchdowns or spectacular catches. But this is a pretty balanced game here. But uh, thanks for watching. Uh, Brown going down here. Slipping as well. It's not the first one today. 
It's been sunny and warm all day. Maybe turf is a little bit dry as well. Who is the shotgun's QB? That's uh, John Brown. He's uh, a new player since uh, this season. American quarterback. Third down. Brown pass towards the sideline. And oh, looking for some contact. And who is that? Let's see. It's number 33, it seems. Is that Vincent van Herk? Bakuna, <laughs> thanks for following the BNL. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Every week there's a game of the week. So every Saturday night at 6 o'clock, you can park yourself on your couch or whatever, wherever you're watching for some uh, BNL football. Brown pass towards the sideline. That's a catch by Daniel Diaz. Was he out of bounds? Yes, he was. Impressive catch by Diaz. <laughs> Signaling, have you? <laughs> Signaling to everyone, hey, did you see that, guys? Yep. Has to watch out for a taunting penalty, maybe. But that was an impressive, uh, that was an impressive catch by Diaz. Spaniard. So, fourth quarter here, still all tied up. I have no idea what, what the time is. We'll see uh, when the two-minute warning drops. Brown with the pass and catch. Hakeem Williams, was he inbounds? Yes, he was. Shotguns are marching down the field. <laughs> Hakeem Williams, Cali boy. Signaling that I'm eating, I'm eating. Churning up those yards, eating those yards. Shotguns not wanting to play for, uh, for a tie here. Obviously, nobody wants a tie. Nobody likes a tie. If they keep continuing like this, they might up in, in the end zone. And <laughs> not like that, of course. There's a delay of game against the shotguns. Five yards in the opposite direction. Trojans 47, Nitros 6 is uh, the score in one of the other games in the BNL. And uh, Brussels Tigers four-footed um, at halftime against the uh, Amsterdam Crusaders. So uh, you're, I'm glad you're with us here in Bettingham. John Brown having to fight for every inch, but gets tackled. Shotguns losing yards on that delay game, but, oh, but as well on this play. John Brown had to run for his life. Let's see, it's 20. It's, uh, it's excuse me, second and a lot more than 20. Getting cheered on by their hometown. Cheerleaders dropping back again. Brown getting tackled, getting the sack. And that helmet comes off once again. It's the second time today that his helmet comes off, so he has to leave the field. On a crucial, crucial third down. Only Slagas probably, probably, nope. Yes, Brown has to leave the field. Kobe Olislagers as the as the quarterback. We've seen today that he can catch balls. Let's see if he can throw or hand it off. Yeah. 
Ball is exactly at the 50 yard line. And uh, let's see, delay a game again. Shotguns are really trending in the wrong direction here after those uh, great catches by Diaz and uh, Williams. This is of course not the way to go if you want to win this game. And uh, had him on the icing is asking for the <laughs> right tackle of the shotguns to be replaced. QB is getting killed, he says. Yeah. Seems that uh, Brown has to run for his life. The last few plays. And uh, timeout is being called. So uh, once again, we get the shotguns cheerleaders on the field. If the music continues playing, <laughs> there seems to be a problem here. Technical difficulties all over the place today. No. <laughs> Not only with the stream, but as well on the field. <laughs> Cheerleaders are <laughs> trying to make the best of it. Have to leave the field. That's ah, too bad for them. Yeah, we'll see them again. No problem, girls. No, it's, it's technical difficulties for you. So uh, still third down for the shotguns. Third and I, can, I can't count anymore. <laughs> it's more than 30 yards. Third and uh, pretty much eternity here, but Brown is back on the field now. Let's see why they whistled the play dead here. Willem and Compernol is saying, throw that ball deep and win the game. Ha, it's 17 each. If you throw it deep, might be intercepted. Oh, this flag is waved. Let's see what the coaching staff has cooked up here because this is a, yeah, it's pretty crucial down here. Third and forever, near the end of the game. 17 each. Yeah, throw those dice. Throw him. Trips on the right side of the offensive line here. So the play, <laughs> it's, it's QB. Uh, Brown really has to run for it. That was uh, towards number 19, uh, Justin Julien. But uh, to no avail, it will be punting. I think uh, that was the two minute warning here. So, uh, last couple of minutes should, bef should be interesting. Brussels Black Angels are uh, about to receive the ball. I think, not 100% sure that we've had the two minute warning, but I think think that and that is a good punt by uh, Provost that will get some bounces will and it will roll out of the end zone so that will be a touchback that is too bad for uh, Provost it was a good kick but there was not a shotgun player in sight they let that ball but that ball bounce went on, out of the end zone so uh, see a touchback here So Arno Guillain also back on the field. First down, uh, Brussels Black Angels dropping back. Pass probably. Nope. 
Yeah, there's the pass. Tipped, intercepted. That is intercepted. Let's see who's got the ball here. That's number 16 of the Limbiter Shotguns. That is Donovan Lima. Donovan Lima tried to frantically punch the ball out in the, uh, I think it was the third quarter. But too bad for Arno Guia getting the tip again and the interception because his interception, uh, his first interception was also a tip ball. That's too bad. It was maybe slightly too high that pass. But Donovan Lima getting the ball. And let's see what the offensive line will do here because uh, John Brown had to run for his life. Last drive. This is the opportunity for the Limburg Shotguns to put this game away. Number uh, 33 got the ball here. That was uh, Vince van Herk. Some positive yards, albeit not a lot. Yeah. That interception it was a gift for the shotguns, especially in this part of the game, because we're uh, nearing the end of it, and there's still a tie on the board. So any any score will put this game away. Brown slipping and almost losing the ball. That was that was risky. Once again, slipped. That's not the first time today. Slip, lost the ball, but jumped back on it. Third down again. I think they'll... Let's see. They have a good kicker. So, no need for risks. The, and again, who knows what Coach Lewis is thinking. Let's see what they do here. Empty backfield. Brown has to run for it. Gets sacked again, and there it goes, that helmet once again. That's the third time today. So, uh, Emma comes off, fourth down. Will they go for it? Will they kick it? That's quite the distance that uh, Masprovos has to, has to kick. Then again, nothing is impossible. Yep. We'll, uh, we'll get a kick here. Because uh, number 10 is on the pitch. That is <laughs> wow. <laughs> that will be a BNL record if that one goes through. My guess is it will not go out of the stadium this time. That is, that's going to be a 52 yarder. That is going to be a 52 yarder. If they stay like that, the holder. Is on the fifty. Is on the the forty-two. Yeah, this is. My guess is the game is almost over. And Provost is. Is he going for that fifty-two yarder here? <laughs> Maybe the Brussels Black Angels <laughs> should put a returner in the end zone. We've all seen what happened at, um, I think it was the Iron Bowl uh, some years ago, where uh, I think it was Clemson playing Alabama, where that ball just got run back. One of the most memorable plays in uh, college football history. This will be interesting. They're flinching. There is a flinch. But who flinched? Was it the offense? Was it the defense? I, I saw the, uh, yeah, five yards against the shotguns. Hmm. So this is going to be, <laughs> what's he, must provost is he, he's signaling the sideline. Do I still have to make this kick? Yeah, flinching when your kicker has to make a 52-yarder. 
That's a killer. This is going to be 57 yards. You're right here with us, but that snap is not good. That snap is not good. But Mas Provost is uh, really upset here. What happened? So the holder tried to run the ball, but went backwards. You should go down. Tried to be Tony Romo for a second there. But if you're on your, uh, what was it, 47-yard line, you shouldn't be running. It's not smart. Then again, They had the pick, they had the drive to put this game away, but look at where they're standing now. They're on defense. First down, Black Angels. There's still some time on the clock, apparently. So anything can happen here. And we've seen that the kicker of the Brussels Black Angels can make a field goal. So, so quarterback scrambling. Oh, what almost pick. It was a pass of uh, Arno Guillain to, uh, was it? Uh, no. I thought it was slot number 30, but let's see who it was. It was number 15, I think, Terrence Stillwell. It was a pretty risky play, pretty risky pass because there was, uh, was a defender ready to intercept that ball again. Guillain again lining up for the pass, going for it, and throwing that ball away. He was out of the pocket, so no uh, intentional grounding. Or was it? He threw that ball away. No, no flags on the plate. So uh, probably discussing intentional grounding here. This is going to be a, uh, let's see, a third down, third and ten. I don't think there's a lot of time on the clock. I don't know, Guillaume with the empty backfield here. Delay a game on the Black Angels. It's going to be a third and fifteen. Again, an empty backfield. So uh, here's the, has to run for it. He's gonna still pass that ball. Yes, he is. And that ball is caught. That ball is caught by number uh, number 81. That's a Jonathan Leroy, or Jonathan Leroy. Was he inbounds? That's the question. I think he was. But is there time on the clock? Is there time on the clock? No, this is the end. So, uh, yeah, full time here. This game is going to overtime. Nate Papp could be wrong, but the commentator keeps making it sound like this is it. Yep, game is over, but uh, it's not over, but full time is over. And uh, BNL is playing according to college rules. So uh, NCAA football rules apply here.
So uh, this, this game is not over yet. We're, we're, we're still getting some football here. <laughs> no problem, Nate. Still glad, uh, glad you're still with us. This was an interesting game here on offense as well as on defense. Saw some pretty remarkable plays with some, uh, some mental mistakes as well. A lot of flags in the second half. Then again, it was really warm today. I think everyone was a little bit gassed. So 17 each here in Beringen. I think this will be the very first overtime uh, game of this season. And I think, not sure, in the history of the BNL. Okay, we're only in the third season of the BNL. Maybe it's not that impressive, <laughs> but uh, overtime is always exciting. Chilbon, <laughs> this shit is the type of game we liked. <laughs> Both teams, both teams had the opportunity to put this game away, but uh, they did it. So uh, we've ended up here. Lights are on here in Beringen. Limburg 17, Black Angels 17 as well. Both games, uh, both other ga um, other games in the BNL, ended up with a blowout. One ended in a forfeit, and. Uh, I'm glad that the BNL stream is here today for this game. Very well balanced here. Shotguns firing themselves up. Black Angels already ready to kick off. <laughs> I have 50 that Limbrick will fuck it up again. We'll see, Willem. We'll see. This should be interesting. I don't think both teams have played overtime in the BNL, so uh, let's see what the coaching staff pulls out of their uh, their hat. I think they'll probably uh, are going to explain the overtime rules to the coaches. They should know it, but then again, even in the <laughs> in the uh, in the NFL, some coaches don't know uh, overtime rules, so it's it's best they get explained. Before uh, before they start, yeah, white cap is on this side. So if you're just joining, could be you're not uh, the thing on the bottom of the screen. It's not a mistake, it's a tie, but it's overtime. So stay with us. We still have some football to be played here and beating it. It's going to be an exciting overtime here. Guys, let us know in the comments who's going to get this W. They both have a chance, of course they have. But we've seen uh, how both teams played during the game, during a uh, regular uh, time. Officials are now uh, probably explaining the overtime rules to the players, to the team captains. And the person on the left is, I think he's the videographer of the Brussels Black Angels. That is, that's Francis. That's Francis. I think he's a, a former quarterback of the Brussels Black Angels. Francis uh, and Jufon. You should check his videos out. Always uh, makes uh, quality, quality content. Excellent videographer. 
knows the game inside and out. Played a lot of years, played as a quarterback. If you're watching, you can still uh, get a drink from the refrigerator. Go to the bathroom because in a couple of minutes, we'll see some BNL overtime here. Let us know what you think, how this one uh, will end up. We all hope and pray, of course, that uh, it'll end on, uh, on, a, uh, on a touchdown. It's always fun to end like that. Now Willem van Kompenolle screens and deep balls. Easy W for Limburg. Yep. Brown didn't have the chance to throw the ball the last few drives because he had to run for his life. And the passes of, uh, <coughs> excuse me, of Arno Guillain, Brussels Black Angels. Yeah, one of the last ones got intercepted, but uh, Limburg didn't do anything with that one. On the contrary, they went backwards. And uh, Mas Provost almost had to make a 50, uh, what was it? I think a 57-yard field goal. But that one uh, went down to tubes. Holder ran with the ball, went backwards. And that was the end of the regulation. So we're now here at uh, 17 each. Overtime in the BNL. There's a lot of explaining to do, apparently, but there's the... There's a coin toss. Let's see who'll get the ball. Let's see if I try to read some body language here. See, my guess is that the uh, shotguns will receive. Let's see, ball is going to go to your left side. <laughs> Trojans, Castile Nitros, forty-seven to twelve. End of game. Thank you, uh, Ilko, for the uh, constant updates here. And Stan Darshan says, what a handsome camera guy in the field. He's probably talking about Francis. <laughs> no. Ball is going to be kicked to your right side. And uh, yeah, shotguns will receive. Those Black Angels will catch the ball and these shotguns <laughs> have to be summoned. There are... Oh! No kicks. So, this is interesting. Oh, I wasn't aware of this. This seems to be like uh, <laughs> some UFL rules here. <laughs> so, Interesting. This is overtime here. Straight to the end zone, but that pa that pass is going nowhere. So they start at the opposite at the, at, at the 25-yard line of the opposite team, the opposing team. Apparently, these are the uh, BNL overtime rules. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. It's more football, less kicking. That's the second down here. Brown immediately uh, went for the for the pass, but there wasn't that uh, white jersey near that ball. Brown still has to run. Holy slag! It's getting the ball, quarterback to quarterback. But uh, 
Yeah, seemed to be going backwards. Once again, Brown had to run. Had a defender straight in his face. Yeah, college rules, baby. Yeah, shotguns losing yards on this first overtime drive. Oh, and Brown is going to get tackled from behind. So, uh, that's fourth down here. Brown got tackled from all sides here. Are they going to... They have to stay. They have to... Have to stay on the field. Yeah, fourth and forever here. So this is bound to be a passing play and a deep ball from John Brown to the end zone. Four receivers. Timeout asked by uh, the home team. And uh, thank you, Respect APA, for explaining uh, the rules so everyone is, uh, everyone is uh, on the same level here. Once again, if you're watching, uh, be sure to subscribe to our, uh, to our channel. We're nearing uh, 460 subscribers. We could, use, uh, <laughs> we could use some more. But you're, I'm glad uh, you're with us here. In beating it in the man in the man stadium, stadium with a lot of history, especially a lot of, a lot of soccer history. But uh, today, uh, football history is being made. First time overtime rules here, and Brown is gonna go deep. That's a straight ball to Daniel Diaz. Is he gonna go in? <laughs> Touchdown, Limburg Shotguns! Just when you think it won't happen. A dime, a dime from Brown to Daniel Diaz. And he punches it in. Barely, barely making it through because the defender was on him. He had, a, <laughs> he had just a crease to run that ball in. What an absolute dime by uh, John Brown. A pass will not get any better than that one. So... Um, Mas Provost lining up for the extra point here. So the score, 17 to 23, 23 for the home team. Yep. Once again, shotguns going backwards with kicks. That's a... Not a good trend here. Then again, this distance shouldn't be a problem for uh, Mas Provost. Oh, and that was again a flag. Who flinched? That was a... <laughs> again. Yep. Shotguns and false starts, it kicks. Two false starts in a row. It's not a good, that's, that's not a good trend. They have to be, they have to stay focused here. They just scored a touchdown. They can win this game. But not if they continue like that. That's a low snap. And Mas Provost is booting that one. Let's see where this one goes. <laughs> Nope. That ball did not go through. That wasn't. <laughs> it's a pretty hard kick. That ball. I think it went out of the stadium as well, but didn't go through. So score still 17 to 23. 
And now, uh, Brussels Black Angels will start. If they score the touchdown and the extra point, they can win this game. <laughs> and Henry, I know Kicker is mad at his team. Yep, that's something you can expect. Provost had a lot of opportunities blown today because of false starts. As a kicker, you do not like to see that. Angel starting Jimmy Onema on the run. Yeah, immediately getting some yards here. Getting him warm. It's been a while since we've seen uh, Onema. <laughs> Bates Mates kicker is going to kick some different balls. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, he has the right to. He has the right to be angry. He has the right to be disappointed. And uh, once again, Jimmy Onema. And yeah, thought he would be tackled nearing uh, near the uh, near the uh, one of the first down marker, but. Got a little bit further than that, and they have a new set of downs here. Looks like they're be gonna use a uh, name a lot here in this overtime. Yeah, it's lining up uh, next to Arnold Guillain. My money is on that. Uh, <laughs> name again. There we go. Old name getting the ball, churning up those yards. If he continues like that, he'll end up in the end zone. Yeah, BIFL uh, videos is just joining the game. Well, you're in overtime, so welcome here. <laughs> overtime. Uh, I see the score is 17 to 24. So I thought that ball didn't go through, but let's see. Oh, Neymar getting the ball once again. Of course, who else? And is he in? Let's see. Nope, still not in. Very, very close. But Donema is trending in the right direction. I think they'll. <laughs> I think the ball is on the half yard line or something. No. I think uh, the score on the screen is incorrect. 17 to 23 normally, because the shotguns missed their extra point. That's Jimmy Onema once again. Is he punching it in? Yes, he is. Onema with the touchdown, and this should be <laughs> a very interesting extra point. Let's see, yeah, uh, score has been corrected here. Thank you, Steven uh, of Be A Legend for uh, providing the stream. Number 12 is lining up Damien uh, Petit. If this ball goes through, that's the ball game. That's a fumbled snap. That is a fumbled snap. And they will not make it. So we'll have a new set. We'll just start over. <laughs> we'll just start over again. Guys, I'm glad you're with us here. This is, an, <laughs> this is a very interesting game. <laughs> This game is full of surprises here today. Filled to the brim with surprises. Maybe not the best ones, but they're surprises with capital S. Now, William and Kompenol <laughs> noticed the false start there. Wouldn't have made a difference, probably. Shotguns would have declined that penalty. So yeah, <laughs> BJ Stebbings, this is the definition of BNL football. <laughs> right, right. So, 23 each. I think a lot of people and a lot of players and coaches <laughs> are heading into unknown territory here. <laughs> what do you do? 
Ah, sorry, Willem. Can't decline a false start. My mistake. My uh, <laughs> my brain is gassed as well. <laughs> it's been a long game, but it's been an interesting game. My voice is uh, nearing the end of its life. <laughs> nearing the end of its life, but I'm still glad I'm here. Still glad you guys are here. <laughs> so <laughs> We're just doing this all over again. <laughs> this time, Brussels Black Angels will start on offense. Just to make things fair. Shotgun started the first series of overtime drives. Jimmy Onema with the ball, who else? He's heading for that end zone. He's a, yeah, he's a troublemaker today for the Limburg Shotgun's defense. Small, but very nimble. There we go, new set of downs for uh, the Brussels team. They keep feeding the ball to Onema. He's bound to end up in that end zone. Limburg Shotgun's defense seems to have trouble stopping him. See where they go right now. Who else? Who else? And he's holding on to that rock pretty, pretty good. Hasn't made any mistakes today. Jimmy Onema. <clears throat> oh, uh, second down now. <clears throat> if you hear my voice crack, <laughs> it's because I've been talking too long. Again, Jimmy Onema starting to get predictable, but it's working. It's working. Third down. They're almost in. If 27's on the field, he's going to get that rock again. Because you can see it's working. And there we go, there we go. It's Jimmy Onema with the ball. But stopped short of the end zone. Got a couple of yards to go because it's fourth down. Very, very interesting here. Are they gonna go for the kick? Probably not. They're just gonna feed 27 the ball again. Let's see, there we go. I don't know, Guillain, quarterback with uh, Onema next to him. Shotguns, they have him, they have him. They got him. Defense, I think they have him. Let's see what the signal is. Mm, not a signal yet. Is he in? Is he in? Shotgun's players are <laughs> convinced he's not. He's at the bottom of the pile. He is not in. He is not in. Shotgun's stopping the Brussels Black Angels on the goal line. So this drive, zero points for the Angels. All the shotguns need are three points. That's it. Or a touchdown, of course. They have to score if they want to win this game. There is a Angels player down, but I don't. Is he hurt or just gassed or frustrated or both? 
Yeah. It's good to see him get him back up. It's number 72, Suleiman Stasis. One of the tackles. So, Jimmy Onema just, just coming up short for the touchdown. And Limburg can put this game away now. It's been a long and hard fight here tonight in Beringen. <laughs> Nate Papp saying, shotguns do not fall start with a dot <laughs> between every word. <laughs> yep, they've made some, <laughs> they've made a lot of uh, errors today on false start. Let's see what uh, Brown will be doing because he, last drive, so you have to run for it. Of course, last drive in OT ended up with touchdown. But then again, that was the very last pass of that drive. Should go smoother for him. And that was a tight pass, but no one was near it. Looked to be frustrated, Brown. Somebody, somebody messed up that play. Second down. Yep, Nate is asking or telling them to run the ball. It's been quite a while since they've since they've ran the ball. And this is these are two quarterbacks lining up to next to each other. Oli Slagers on the motion. Where is he going? Where is Brown going with that ball? Almost intercepted. Because that receiver slipped. And who was that? Was that number seven? Let's see. I think it was Akeem Williams. Seems to have a little limp. Yep, it's number seven. Seven was the target, Hakeem Williams. The man from Cali. But that ball was nearly intercepted. Crucial third down here, crucial third down. This is where they, they started making false start uh, mistakes. Last drive. Delay of game. Delay of game. Once again. Now, Limburg just keeps shooting themselves in the foot. So this is a third and 15. If they score points on this drive, this game is over. Brown has to run for it. And he's going to get sacked. He is going to get sacked. And let's see what they'll do here. I don't th see any flags on the play. Brown once again losing his helmet. This is the fourth time today. Are you just ripping off that helmet or is that helmet faulty? Yeah, if we continue like this, <laughs> we'll be here tomorrow morning playing football. And it just so happens that I have to be, <laughs> I have to play here tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. So I can just stay here if I want. Yeah, cheerleaders are trying to trying to cheer for. Uh, let's see, it's Mas Provost. They're gonna go for the kick. Cheerleaders are uh, <laughs> hoping that Provost is making this one. So if this one sails through, this is gonna be a 50-yarder. A 50. We know Mas Provost has the leg, but let's see what happens with the snap. It's a good, clean snap, kick, and it's. Wide right. <laughs> it's wide right. 
Not trying to annoy Buffalo Bills fans here, but that one was wide right. Had to, I think it had a distance. So, <laughs> we had two drives in overtime. The first drive ended up in uh, both teams scoring touchdown but missing the extra point. This second one ended up in no points for either team. Black Angels stranded, got stranded on the goal line. Jimmy Onema came short, I think it was a yard or just a couple of inches because there were a lot of discussion. And uh, shotguns moved in the wrong direction after, uh, after uh, uh, a uh, delay a game. Then uh, Hospital Volst had to make a 50 yarder. That one was wide right, had the distance just barely, but had the distance. So we'll just do this once more. This is, uh, this is the phase of the game where you uh, have, to, uh, have to worry about players cramping up. It's been uh, warm today, 24 degrees Celsius out here. They've played an entire game. They've played two overtime drives each. And uh, there's a third one coming up. <laughs> this game is wild. <laughs> Nate is saying, yeah, it is. So guys, we're getting we're gearing up for <laughs> the third <laughs> overtime drive here. Go to the bathroom, get some snacks, get a drink, because this game is still not over yet. The crowd here paid a couple of euros to get in, and they're getting a lot of football in return. Let's see, Stephen Willems, he is uh, the director and uh, is providing technical support for uh, the stream, says, I believe it might now be alternating two-point conversion plays. That would be wild. <laughs> that would be absolute. That would, I think, I think the, the Brussels Black Angels would have, would have the upside on that, especially uh, with uh, Jimmy Onema churning up those yards the entire game. And uh, shotguns not running the ball anymore, apparently. Maybe they uh, have injuries on the, their running backs. So let's see what happens here. The unknown territory for the players and coaches is, uh, is growing here. <laughs> I don't think a lot of players here have played these overtime rules, let alone in the BNL. Can this game break my poverty fighting Illinois 9 OT record? Um, yeah, that would be interesting. <laughs> nine, nine, 9 OT, why not? Once again, I have to be here tomorrow morning at 9.30 uh, in, in this same stadium, so I'll just sleep in my car and stay here. They can play as long as they want. As long as this game is interesting, I'm staying. And I'm glad you guys are still with us. This chat is getting more active by the minute. That's because this game is absolutely wild. Yeah, I think they're going to go for the alternating two-point conversions. Wow. Wow. So... Two point conversions. Let's see. So this one is not going in. Don't know what happened there.
And now the angels are coming on the field, and no doubt number 27 will be there. But this play was, was weird. I think there was a miscommunication there. There is, uh, I don't know, Guilla, quarterback with number 27 next to him. If he punches that ball in, this game is over. And we've all seen what number 27 can do. He is getting the ball. Is he going in? Yeah, he's going. Let's see. Is he in? He's in. Let's see. No. One of the official signal touchdown. He's not. Is he in? Yes, he is in. It's official. The Brussels Black Angels are taking the W after an absolutely wild game. He didn't beat it. You will never see this one again. You will never see a game like this again in the BNL. I promise you. Brussels Black Angels take the W back to the capital city. Shotguns. Devastated, obviously. They had the opportunities, but they just, just, they're, they're, made a lot of errors, made a lot of mistakes, crucial place. So, uh, and who else but Jimmy Onema has, deci has decided this absolute <laughs> please provide me with some words in the comments because I lack words right now <laughs> thank you everyone for, for being in the chat for following this game with us here in Beringen an absolute <laughs> wild game two OTs and alternating two-point conversion and the last play of the game decides it jimmy will name a punch inning, punching it in ending this game at 25 to 23 visiting black angels take home the w shotguns are gonna go back to the drawing board a lot of things went good a lot of things went wrong on both sides of the ball but it's always the losing team that has to look in the mirror and has to question themselves <laughs> William van Kompernal is asking if you guys need another announcer normally there's enough of us in this uh, American football community Belgium normally there's about six to eight of uh, about six to eight of us that that uh, provide uh, announcement for the streams. But I'm here today by myself, just like last week, because of circumstances. But uh, we can maybe uh, open up things to other announcers. We'll see. And uh, angels are doing their dance. There, there's going to be a flip. There you go. Number nine with the flip, Sebastian Croix. All right, I think we're about to wrap up this uh, this uh, broadcast of uh, of this absolute. <laughs> I'm still at loss for words for this game. Thank you guys for watching, uh, everyone for contributing. Thank you guys for supporting the BNL. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm, uh, I'm gonna thank uh, Fotel, our sponsor. I'm gonna thank uh, Steven of Be a Legend for providing us with this excellent stream. Uh, our apologies for uh, some technical difficulties in the beginning, but uh, I'm, uh, I'm just glad you guys were, uh, were with us today. And uh, we'll see you uh, probably uh, next week. Let's see. I'll uh, check the schedule. The schedule is... Uh, the next game is uh, April 20. So there's a, there's a bye week for uh, all teams. So uh, the next game uh, broadcast will be the Brussels Tigers against the Limburg Shotguns in uh, Evre. So uh, I don't know if I'll be there. One of our uh, uh, 
American football community, Belgium crew members will probably be behind the mic. Once again, thank you everyone for watching. Um, this, was <laughs> this was a unique game, this was a wild game. Um, Brussels Black Angels taking home the W to the capital city, 25 to 23. Thank you and uh, I'll see you next time. You're protective all day, just in case. Who knows what could happen? Hey, baby, what's going on? Nothing is more important than being safe. Protect yourself at all times. We've got you. Go to Perella.com for all your American football gear.